the topic is infinite sheet of current here the current distribution is infinite sheet and we have to determine the magnetic intensity due to this infinite sheet by using the ampere circuit law because ampere circuit law is used when the current distribution is symmetrical and here the infinite sheet carries a current that is symmetrical so here we consider an infinite sheet at z equals to 0 means on x y plane we consider an infinite sheet on this sheet a current is flowing in positive y direction in case of infinite sheet we use a surface current density surface current density is denoted by k vector here the since the current is flowing in positive y direction so the k vector has y components k vector is equals to k y unit vector y here k suffix y is the magnitude of this surface current density so by applying a ampere circuit law we assume an amperian path this amperian path is assumed by using a right hand rule so here we use a right hand rule the direction of the current is defined by a thumb direction and the direction of amperian path is defined by a curl of a finger so here we consider an amperian path that is a rectangular one half of the rectangular is above the sheet and half is below the sheet so here we consider an amperian path 1 2 3 and 4 and the direction of this amperian path is defined by the curl of a finger by the right hand rule the curl of a finger direction is defined the direction of the magnetic field intensity h now according to ampere circuit law closed line integration h dot dl equals to current enclosed and here the current can be defined in terms of surface current density here we take an amperian path 1 2 3 and 4 and the direction is given by the right hand rule now half of the rectangular is above the sheet and half of the rectangular is below the sheet so the current the current passed through this amperian path define the surface current density that surface current density is equals to current upon perpendicular distance that is denoted by b here b is called the perpendicular distance i is the current flowing through this amperian path that that define the surface current density so k suffix y equals to i upon b where b is the perpendicular distance and i is the current flowing through this amperian path now we take the amperian path divided into four path that is path 1 2 plus 2 3 plus 3 4 plus 4 1 so the closed line integration s dot dl becomes integration 1 2 2 plus integration 2 to 3 plus integration 3 to 4 plus integration 4 to 1 h dot dl now we determine the integration s dot dl around this individual path so first we take a path 1 2 so here we see that since the amperian part define the direction of the magnetic intensity h so as we move from path 1 to 2 the magnetic field intensity direction is towards negative direction of z so the h component is minus hz and the value of a that is dl vector dl vector is also in negative direction of z so the first integration that is integration from 1 to 2 we get minus hz into minus a because the magnetic field intensity is downward and path is also downward that is opposite to z now for path 2 3 
the 2 3 path is opposite to x axis and dl is also opposite to x axis here the dl is minus b because minus is taken because it is opposite to x axis towards the negative direction of x and the magnetic field intensity is also to the negative direction of s so we get minus hx into minus b now as we move from 3 to 4 in this case we move towards positive direction of z so the h becomes hz positive and dl becomes positive a that is hz into a now for path 4 to 1 4 to 1 is towards the direction of x that is positive direction of x so we get hx positive and b positive now as the current distribution is symmetrical we consider the infinite number of filamentary current on this infinite sheet so here we consider a two position where we have a two in filamentary current that is at 1 and 2 since this filamentary current is moving towards the positive direction of y so there is a direction of the magnetic field intensity that is defined by the right hand rule so from here at position 1 and 2 we show an Amperian path half above the sheet and half below the sheet. Now, as we move along the Amperian path, we get a direction of the magnetic field intensity. That is, above the sheet we have positive x and below the sheet we have minus hx in the direction of x. Means, as we take a x direction above the sheet we find that the empyrean path direction is positive and below the sheet we find that the empyrean path is negative of x direction and when we take a z direction means to the z axis we find that left side of this empyrean path is negative direction of z and the right side of this empyrean path is positive direction of z so we take a two position position one and two and they are very near to each other so we can say that the neighboring side means the, the left side of the position, uh, position 1 path and the right side of position 2 path are equal and opposite. So, such components are cancelled with each other. So, similarly there are infinite number of positions and due to this positions the entire z component is cancelled with each other and we get only the x component remains the positive x component above the sheet and negative x component below the sheet so we can define combinedly that magnetic intensity h has two components in positive direction above the sheet that is z greater than 0 and negative component below the sheet that is z less than 0 so Magnetic intensity H is equals to Hx unit vector X for Z greater than 0, Hx minus unit vector X for Z less than 0. So, in, in this way we get only the X component positive above the sheet, negative below the sheet, the entire Z component is cancelled with each other. Now, we move to the Ampere circuit law. And the Ampere circuit law is closed line integration S dot DL. And we find that the H component is cancelled. So, the first integration that is from 1 to 2 and the third integration that is 3 to 4 is cancelled. Because here HZ is equals to minus HZ. So, the remaining only H, X into B two times. So, the closed line integration S dot DL equals to 2 times H X into B. So, here we represent the closed line integration S dot DL in terms of surface current density K Y. So, current I equals to K Y into B. So, we create it. So, from here we get H X equals to K Y upon 2. Here B is cancelled. So, this is the magnitude of the magnetic field intensity h 
in terms of surface current density. Here the magnetic field intensity have x component and the surface current density has y component. H x equals to k y upon 2. So, above the sheet that is z greater than 0, we get 1 upon 2 k y unit vector x. Because above the sheet, the h component is in the positive direction of x. And below the sheet that is at grade less than 0, we have negative direction of x. So, the magnetic intensity h equals to 1 upon 2 ky minus unit vector x. The direction below the sheet is negative direction. Here, the magnetic intensity h is in terms of surface current density k. Here, the current is in positive y direction. So, k have y component, y component of k. In general, we can write the magnetic intensity H that is 1 upon 2 k vector cross unit vector n. Unit vector n is the normal unit vector. How it is possible? Because we know that x and y axis is perpendicular to each other. So, this angle that is sine alpha is equal to 1. Here, alpha is 90 degree. The angle between x and y sine alpha is 1. And the normal unit vector. Normal unit vector is along the unit vector z. So, normal unit vector is unit vector z. And we know that the k vector is k y unit vector y because the current is flowing in positive y direction. So, the surface current density k has only y component. Now, we take a cross product of k vector and normal vector. So, here the we take a cross product of unit vector y and unit vector z. The cross product of unit vector y and z is unit vector x. So, in this way we can get k vector cross an vector unit vector n is equals to k y unit vector x. So, in place of k y unit vector x we can write k vector cross an vector. So, in general the magnetic intensity h due to the infinite sheet of current is given by 1 upon 2 k vector cross a n vector. Here k vector is called the surface current density in vector form and a n is the normal unit vector.